Hey, hello, it's Paul Apollonia. I want to do a somewhat of a live demo on how to do a power wash on a Chromebook. I'm having some issues with this one. Actually, to be honest with you, I already did a power wash, but I want to show you guys how to do it real quick. You're going to go to settings, advance, scroll all the way down. Well, basically, a power wash is just going to bring the Chromebook back to new status, like the day you bought it. So you're going to click here, it's going to say power wash, and it's going to say, you want to say yes, it's going to ask, are you sure, yes, and it's going to reset. This will also clear out the Chromebook itself, so you want to make sure you have no local data on here. You want to back up your local data to the Google, uh, your Google Drive. All right, it's gonna tell you again, this is gonna reset the Chromebook to like new status or whatever. Yes, make sure, you know, you really wanna make sure that you wanna do this. Like I said, the only issue with this is making sure that you have all your data backed up. And it's gonna wait, it, this takes literally five minutes, even less than that. It should even take less than that, because I already did it. So you're gonna get the screen, it's gonna tell you it's doing stuff. I love my Chromebook. It's a really great computer. They're very affordable. Pay maybe the max of 300 bucks for a decent one. You can go higher than that, but there's no need to. It's a web-based computer. Basically, it runs off the Google, op uh, the Chrome operating system, excuse me. You get access to Google Drive, documents, spreadsheets. Not like Microsoft Office, similar to, but like a, a vanilla version of that. If you're not really heavily into spreadsheets and doing fancy things with documents, it's a great computer. I use it for my online business, basically all I use anymore. And I try and uh, get programs that are on online, like QuickBooks and stuff like that. The only issue I have so far with the Chromebook is trying to find a decent online video editor. It's almost impossible. So they're working on it, they say. So here's another screen comes up. And it's going to default English. Obviously, if you need to change this stuff, it's going to say, let go, let's go. You're going to select your Wi-Fi you're going to be on. I'm here at the uh, illustrious... Starbucks, which I must have passed it. There it is right there, right on the top. I'm going to click on that. Obviously, you're, I just select that. Let Google think I'm a happy customer. Chrome think I'm a happy customer. I don't know why people are saying Google. Well, Google Chrome, obviously. Accept. Then it's going to check for updates. And it's checking for updates. It shouldn't be too much because I already did this. Then I'm going to type in my email address. And I'm going to say next. And it's going to want my password. And it's going to process. This is for your Google account. The email on your Google account is going to sync it. Howdy, you can take a tour of what a Chromebook is. Uh, great if you're a brand new user, but I pretty much know all the tricks and tips. And notice how it's going to start loading up things. This is going to bring it back just to as. See how it's loading up all my things on my tray automatically like it was before. Um, it does not mess with your uh, Chrome browser at all and it's gonna it, it's gonna take maybe a minute or two it's gonna set up some things I think it even brings back your original screensaver you had on there yeah it's gonna tell you certain things that it's like got issues with you can you know that's certain extensions I've got for Amazon that says it's not compatible but it is So for example, I'm going to, it's still processing, but I'm going to bring up my screen. 
and you notice how it's got everything the way it was before. It's just like I never even left. Um, so that's basically it. Now I've got a fresh Chromebook with nothing on it. Where this comes really, really handy, believe it or not, is let's say you're in an airport and you're traveling and you don't want anybody, you know, if, if somebody steals your computer or anything, this is really, really cool for that situation. Make sure you've got all your stuff backed up onto your computer. Not onto your computer, I'm sorry, onto the Google Drive in the cloud. Then do a power wash, get on a plane, or uh, get into the airport if somebody steals your computer. You lost your computer, but you didn't lose any of your data because it's just like a fresh computer. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that old uh, like button for me. If you uh, enjoyed this, gives me uh, help on what you guys like and what you guys don't like. All right, thanks a lot. See you. Have a good day.